Morning everybody, it's um, Tuesday today and I think this is a uh, first sunny day we've had for a while. I think it is supposed to be dry today so this is a day for getting out and getting into your garden if you have not managed to do that but at least you won't need to water your grass or water your plants uh, because of all the torrential heavy rain we've had. So apologies at the minute, the bin men are just emptying our red bins so hopefully uh, they will just pass away in a wee minute and um, that will be the noise away I thought they had actually gone but they're obviously just a wee bit further up the street <coughs> so I hope everybody's doing okay um, keeping well I'm um, still waiting for uh, any instructions from Church of Scotland I know restrictions have been lifted really for most things now uh, but we are still waiting for their advice as to how we should move forward but hopefully uh, come September it seems to be that uh, lots of churches are speaking to people yesterday at Session Clark's meeting and churches are hoping to get things like their church organisations and things back in September and hopefully uh, we'll be able to do the same but we're waiting to hear what things we need to have in place for that. So um, just wait and hear uh, as I am doing and we, I will let you know as soon as there's anything to let you know but things um, definitely moving forward a wee bit you uh, still have to wear masks in the church though uh, uh, that is one thing that hasn't been lifted so we're waiting to hear about that so we are uh, following the story of Daniel and yesterday we had a uh, Nebuchadnezzar's dream and today we're starting at uh, chapter 4 verse 19 and it's Daniel explains the dream at this, Daniel, who was also called Belthazar, was so alarmed he could not see anything. The king said to him, Belthazar, don't let the dream and its message alarm you. He replied, Your Majesty, I wish that the dream and its explanation applied to your enemies and not to you. The tree so tall that it reached the sky could be seen by everyone in the world. Its leaves were beautiful and it had enough fruit on it to feed the whole world. Wild animals rested under it and birds made their nests in its branches. Your Majesty, you are the tree, tall and strong. You have grown so great that you reach the sky and your power extends over the whole world. While Your Majesty was watching, an angel came down from heaven and said, Cut the tree down and destroy it, but leave the stump in the ground. Wrap a band of iron and bronze around it and leave it there in the field with the grass. Let the dew fall on this man and let him live there with the animals for seven years. This then is what it means. Your Majesty, and this is what the Supreme God has declared will happen to you. You will be driven away from human society and will live with wild animals. For seven years you will eat grass like an ox and sleep in the open air where the dew will fall on you. Then you will admit that the Supreme God controls all human kingdoms and that he can give them to anyone he chooses. The angel ordered the stump to be left in the ground. This means that you will become king again when you acknowledge that God rules all the world. So then, your majesty, follow my advice. Stop, stop sinning, do what is right and be merciful to the poor. Then you will continue to be prosperous. <clears throat> Amen. And God bless this reading from Daniel chapter 4. And we will hear the rest of Daniel chapter 4 tomorrow and to hear what happens to King Nebuchadnezzar. So tomorrow we will start at verse 28 and hear the rest of chapter 4. So I um, hope everybody's doing okay. Folks seem to be um, managing at the minute with things, uh, but you still know where we are. Uh, lots of people still needing prayers. Lucy uh, still uh, undergoing her treatment in um, sick children's, I think, with Queen Elizabeth, oh, I don't know, but um, still going, still undergoing her treatment, but doing well with it. Uh, so that's good. And I know that Lucy and Gwen are uh, really um, overwhelmed by the amount of messages and prayers that they know that, that people are behind them all the way with uh, while Lucy has her treatment. So she's doing well, um, she's looking well. She decided to um, shave off all her hair because her hair was coming out. She did try for a halfway house here, um, but that um, didn't last long. So she has decided and she's looking great. So uh, they are delighted with people, uh, prayer, prayers and support for them. Uh, also Sheena, uh, doing all right, but just a bit 
uh, sad still about Gil. Uh, Mary still not keeping too well. So these are people that um, we could be praying for uh, on a daily basis and lots of other people too, you know, um, your friends in church and what's happening with them. So um, have a good day today. Enjoy the dry day, first dry day for a wee few days. Um, take care of yourself and we will be back tomorrow. Bye.